Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Macros are small programs that record your keystrokes as you perform a task and then save the actions you performed as a visual basic module, a type of program file. When you run the macro later, it will repeat your keystrokes, thus repeating your actions. This is why they are great for automating repetitive tasks. For example, if you wanted to create a macro that would place your company's name and address information in the upper left corner of a document, you could record a macro as you enter the information once, and then run the recorded macro to do it again in the future. It would repeat the exact same keystrokes that you entered, effectively replicating the process instantaneously. You can see advanced options for creating macros on the Developer tab in the ribbon if it is enabled. You can also use the Macros button group on the View tab in the ribbon to record and playback basic macros that you record. In this lesson, we will examine how to record a basic macro using the commands found within this group in the ribbon. To begin to record a macro, click the Macros button in the Macros button group on the View tab within the ribbon. From the drop-down menu that appears, select the Record Macro command. This will open the Record Macro dialog box. In the Record Macro dialog box, enter a name for your new macro in the Macro Name text box. Note that macro names cannot contain spaces. Next, select the template or document to which you would like to attach the macro from the Store Macro In drop-down. It will default to the normal macro-compatible document template, which is the document template that new macro-enabled documents are based upon. A macro can only work if it is attached to the actual document in which it will be used, or if it is attached to the document template from which the current document was produced. So if the macro is one that you want for all documents that use macros, then selecting all documents normal template choice is a good idea. Otherwise, just select the template or file to which you will attach the macro. Then click the OK button to start recording. While recording your macro, you cannot use your mouse very much and you should minimize your mouse movements during the recording of the macro. Instead, try to use the keyboard as much as possible. Once you have finished recording your macro, click the Macros button, and then select the Stop Recording command. Also, if necessary, you can choose the Pause Recording command from the Buttons drop-down menu to pause the macro while recording. You can click the Macro button, and then select Resume Recorder in order to resume the recording of the macro when you are ready to continue. And like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.